the only natural satellite of our planet and overall, the fifth largest moon in our solar system. The moon has baffled scientists, philosophers and thinkers for ages. It is thought that Thomas Harriot observed the moon for the first time in July 1609 almost a month before Galileo Galley observed it. July 21, 1969. Neil Armstrong became the first man to land on the moon by imposing his footprint over its surface. The small step was dubbed as a huge leap for mankind by Armstrong himself. Neil Armstrong and Lunar Module Pilot Buzz Aldrin spent two hours and 15 minutes on the surface and collected almost 21 kilograms of lunar rocks and got them to Earth's surface. The moon landing is considered as one of the greatest achievements in human history but this great feat, and one giant leap, was challenged by a man called Bill Kazing calling moon landing as a one giant lie. Bill Kazing was serving as a U.S. Navy officer and then he was a head of technical publications for Rocketdyne's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. He believed that NASA didn't have technology to bring back the Apollo 11 crew back to Earth safely and based on that assumption he wrote a book, We Never Went to Moon, America's $30 billion swindle, which casted serious doubts on Apollo 11's moon landing mission. In this video we will examine the conspiracy theories put forward by Casing and we'll try to find out what pro-moon landing experts have to say about Casing's theories. We are starting now. Please stay tuned. Conspiracy theory number one, flag waving in no atmosphere. Bill Kazing alleged that when lunar module driver Buzz Aldrin installed a U.S. flag onto the surface of the moon, it was waving, which couldn't have happened on moon because moon doesn't have any atmosphere. Hence moon landing was faked. Experts in NASA and several astronauts have given a convincing answer to this mystery. The American flag was installed on a surface of the moon with a vertical and a horizontal pole so that the American flag stands flat and seem like waving as seen in this picture. Conspiracy theory number two, the starless sky. During the moon landing several pictures were taken and all the photos show black sky without any stars. It was alleged that the photo shoot was taken in a studio with a black fabric behind. Once again experts in optics have provided a great explanation for this anomaly. They say that the cameras used for moon landing were set for a specific exposure. If the exposure was more, we could only see stars in the sky and nothing on the surface. But since the camera exposure was set as per the environment, we couldn't see stars in the background. Conspiracy theory number three, the Buzz Aldrin anomaly. When Buzz Aldrin was preparing to step a foot on the moon surface, the lunar module was in between him and the sun. But Aldrin was seeming well lit in the video and pictures taken during that time, which led to the notion that there was an extra light source used by a light technician in a studio, confirming that the moon landing was faked. Recently, NVIDIA did a thorough analysis of this situation by simulating the scenario of Buzz Aldrin landing. The simulation proved that Buzz Aldrin is well lit, not because of a studio light, but because of Moon's reflective and refractive surface. Furthermore, Neil Armstrong was video shooting that particular scene in a sun in close proximity to Lunar Module. Armstrong's Teflon-coated spacesuit was reflecting light on Buzz Aldrin, keeping him well lit. Conspiracy Theory Number 4 – The Hammering Sounds while digging the lunar surface to recover some materials, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin were hitting a hammer over a shovel. The only odd thing was that a fade sound could be heard when hammer was striking a shovel. Since there is no air on the moon, hearing a sound is impossible. As a result many believe that moon landing was faked. While NASA has not answered this allegation directly, though, some experts believe that the hammer hitting vibrations travel through the arms of the astronaut and then it was picked up by the astronaut's mic in the spacesuit. Though the sound picked by this way might be very low and that is why the recorded sound is very dull in the moon landing video. Good. Doing good. Change arms. 
sir. Conspiracy Theory Number 5 Boot Soul Mismatch National Air and Space Museum in Washington has displayed the spacesuit of Neil Armstrong which he wore during the epic moon landing. The only problem is that the footprint stamped by Neil Armstrong on the surface of the moon does not match the shoe of the spacesuit in the museum. A NASA astronaut named as Mike L.A. has recently tweeted about the allegation. Mike said, Did you know that Neil Armstrong's moon boots are still on the moon, and it wasn't an accident? He left them in order to compensate for the additional weight brought back by collecting moon rocks. Thanks for watching this video. In the next part we will share more conspiracy theories put forward by Kazing and other moon landing critics. We will also try to find answers to those allegations. Please join us for the part 2 of the moon landing series. Also, send us a feedback on this episode and subscribe Galaxian if you have not done so. Thank you again. Bye.